Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining us today. And it's a great honor for me to be here to welcome all of you, the representatives from EU, our customers, our partners, and many, many journalists from all over the world. And it's a great honor for me to take this opportunity to share our thoughts on how we're going to address the challenge on cybersecurity in this fast-changing digital world. Well, I'm always pleased to be back to Brussels. For me, this city is leading the efforts to address many challenges from global warming to education, from economic development to changes in the workplace. Here in Brussels, policymakers are looking for solutions to the changes that we all face. This includes cybersecurity. Last year at the BES, at the, at the EBS, European Business Summit, I announced our plans to open this cybersecurity transparency center here in Brussels. If we look at the events in the past months, it's clear that now this facility is more critical than ever. You know what I'm saying. We're getting into a digital world very fast. And we all agree that trust is the foundation for a healthy digital environment. But as technology evolves, it's becoming more difficult for us to build that trust in this environment. Right now, from our perspective, we have four main challenges. First, fast developing digital technology bring many new security challenges. For example, traditional telco networks have evolved from closed network to internet-based network, which is much more open than before. And more and more digital content and services are migrating to the cloud. As more devices go online, and our smartphones become more powerful. Our networks have much greater attack surfaces than ever before. And second, as a global community, we lack a common and the unified understanding of cybersecurity. The governments, business communities, we all talk about the importance of cybersecurity. However, the fact is both public and private sectors lack a basic common understanding of this issue. So as a result, different stakeholders have different opinions, have different expectations on cybersecurity. And there is no alignment of responsibilities in some of the cases. And third, our industry as a whole lacks a unified set of technical standards for security, as well as systems for verification. This is complicated by the global supply chain. In the global supply chain, digital products include com components from many different countries with many different standards, or even no standards at all. This is a fact. So there is an urgent need to invest in security standards 
verification systems on the national level. And there is a need to invest heavily on professional resource and the skills. This is a task for the whole society. And the fourth challenge is governance. In some countries, cybersecurity management lack legislative support, and cybersecurity enforcement is not mature. These are all real challenges for all of us. At Huawei, we fully understand the cybersecurity concerns that people have in this digital world. And we believe that cybersecurity is a challenge we all share. To address these challenges, we believe that mutual understanding is the starting point. So to build a trustworthy environment, we need to work together. So what's the solution? Let me share with you in detail. At Huawei, we have the principle called ABC principle for security. It's very simple. A, assume nothing. B, believe nobody. C, check everything. A, B, C principle. We believe that both trust and distrust should be based on facts, not feelings, not speculations, not baseless rumor. And we believe that fact must be verifiable and verification must be based on standards. So to start, we need to work together on unified standards. Based on a set of common standards, technical verification, legal verification can lay the foundation for building the trust. This must be a collaborative effort because no single vendor, government, or telco operator can do it alone. And second, we need to work together to clarify and align our responsibilities. This includes the stakeholders of regulators, standards organizations, telcos, and the technology providers like Huawei. As technology providers, our responsibility is to fully comply with the standards, but that's not enough. Security must, in, must be embraced as a great social responsibility for the business firm. That means embedding trust in all end-to-end -end processes and enhances security through innovation in the corporate culture. This is the approach we've, we've taken at Huawei. For telco carriers, their responsibility is to ensure the cyber resilience of their own networks. Following industrial standards, telco carriers need to build robust processes to identify cybersecurity risk, and they need to develop risk mitigation plan and protect data of their customers. And finally, government and standards bodies need to work with all stakeholders on standards development. This is our shared responsibility. These efforts should focus on a holistic approach, including security standards, security verification mechanisms, and the enforcement. In Europe, we have very good experience 
in driving the unified standards and the regulation. For example, the GDPR, which is a shining example of this. GDPR sets clear standards, defines responsibilities for all stakeholders, and applies equally to all companies operating in Europe. As a result, GDPR has become the golden standard to privacy protection around the world. And we believe that European regulators can also lead the way on similar mechanism for cybersecurity. Yesterday, I met with uh, Vice Chairman Ansip. We also talked about to develop a GDPR-like scheme for cybersecurity in the Europe. And that we hope that that will lay a fair ground for all the service providers and the technology providers to contribute their capability to the digital development in Europe. For example, right now, the GSMA is making great progress with the NASA's security assurance schemes. We believe that all stakeholders should get behind this framework. Ultimately, the standards we adopt must be verifiable for all technology providers and all carriers. Ladies and gentlemen, an open, digital, and prosperous Europe requires a secure and trustworthy digital environment. That means the challenge of today and the tomorrow to lay the foundation for a trustworthy digital environment for both now and in the future. Transparency, integrity, and accountability are essential. Today, we're opening the Huawei Cybersecurity Transparency Center to help build this environment. This center will provide a platform to enhance communication and joint innovation with all stakeholders. It will also provide a technical verification platform for all of our customers. At Huawei, we strongly advocate independent and mutual third-party certification. Our cybersecurity transpar uh, tra transparency center will support that. It will also give us a dedicated platform for constructive discussion, sharing best practice, and jointly addressing risks and challenges with our customers and all of our partners. We welcome all regulators, standards organizations, and Huawei customers to use this platform to collaborate more closely on security standards, verification, and the secure innovation. Together, we can improve security or across the entire ecosystem and help build mutual verifiable trust. Over the past 30 years, Huawei has served more than 3 billion people around the world. We support a stable operation for more than 1,500 carrier networks in over 170 countries in the world. In this time, we have maintained a solid track record in cybersecurity. We are so proud of that. At Huawei, our promise is security or nothing. <coughs> we take this responsibility very seriously. Cybersecurity is our top priority across product design, development, and life cycle management. And it's embedded in all of our business processes. 
look into the future. We want to do more. We will keep investing in our cybersecurity and the technical capability. This center is an important milestone in this commitment. We also commit to working more closely with all stakeholders in Europe to build a trust on objective facts and verification. This is the cornerstone of a secure digital environment for all of us in Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, as a city, as an institution, Brussels reminds us of what collective effort and a clear vision can achieve. As a people, as organizations, as companies, we strongly believe that we are always more effective, we are always stronger when we work together. Thank you very much. <laughs>